yeah, uh, shifting shifting gears a little bit here. Uh, I'm out in the yard on the rock here. It's very powerful to come out here, ground your feet to this rock, the living earth, and then look up in the clouds and communicate with all the elements. Um, and open your heart full band, all the bands, all the bandwidths and the full grid, the full, uh, the full cathartic grid, open the full grid, experience it all in your heart. Like your heart is at the center of the pole, the mast, the mast head of the whole grid. And then you got the, uh, other vertical lines and then the intersections of the other lines that connect it all. So that the whole grid is experiencing what we are, which is the eternal cosmic sun I experience in my heart. So I communicate that up into the, as you can see, see the bars? <laughs> Elemental command. So, so obviously they use technology to alter environments, which alters consciousness. So that's an, it's called an invasion of airspace. That's an intruder force. They're intruders, dominators, see? And the sadness, and, and this is where I cry for them, is because they worship and believe that technology is the answer to their crimes to avoid accountability. That's the truth of it, and we know that. I'm not afraid to tell you the truth because I am a guardian. And that's because I live to my heart. And when it's wide open, that's a cosmic level receiver and transmitter. That's a one speaking to all of you. Their greatest fear is for you to experience what love is. And to be free to communicate that. That you are an individual free of captivity. Because I am a one. I am the law of one. I am what love is. That's the highest law. They don't honor that. So this is a matter of honor. So that's how you know your races on what they honor and what they don't honor. Okay? They don't honor God. Otherwise they would honor the God that's within their own heart. That's the one. That's the one true God. There's only one. That's an eternal cosmic sun. When you experience that through your heart, you're experiencing the law of one, which is the law of balance. That means you're a damn good mathematician means you know how to run numbers. They don't run those numbers, do they? Nope. So they're always in a deficit. Their consciousness is always in a deficit, which is a whack a mo Got to keep feeding on you. So you know that, that you know what happened to them. They fell. Their consciousness fell. They're not experiencing the primal sound field. They're not experiencing the one. Because love doesn't hold energy captive because it's unnecessary. So if you're holding consciousness captive, it's because you're out of energy. You're running out of energy. And if you're running out of energy, you're feeding on somebody else's energy at the cellular level. That's an attachment to a cell, like a mononuclear cell, a single cell and then multi-cells. Multi-dimensional organisms, living consciousness, worlds that are living consciousness, breathing worlds, water worlds, where everything is as pure as it gets. You're experiencing eternity energy everywhere you go. You are the energy that is free to do that. Nothing is holding your consciousness captive. You're experiencing the primal sound field. 
your highest level of consciousness, your true self is there. You're in the cosmic field of pre-matter phase. What do you want to experience next? Anything I want. So everything is different because, wow, the energy you're experiencing is eternity. And you're experiencing other eternity engines of consciousness. So that's the largest formation of consciousness, which is living light. That's the most powerful energy. Magic magicians. That's like having full command. But their perception of power doesn't understand what it's like to have that much energy that you can utilize on behalf of all creation because it's protecting it as you're experiencing it automatically. Because of the eternity everywhere you go. That's not fallen consciousness. That's one consciousness. That's why it's called unified or unity. So you have access to everything that's happening. <laughs> Because you're the energy that's making it all happen. Because nothing is faster than eternity. In an eternal spirit. That's what it's like. You're an eternal spirit. Holy Father, Holy Mother joined as one powerful spirit. The, the blast furnace. The hottest engine. So they use dominator technology. They use technology to engineer and direct and hold consciousness captive. And that's a no-no. That's against the law of one. So their game is to get people into a state of fear, experiencing what fear is. Because once they've been hurt, because the soul knows connected to the one, which is experiencing what love is. And when that, when that soul gets trauma, what happens? It's such a fragment. Well, we got to recover that. We, that's what we do, is recover pieces of you that were lost over time space as a result of trauma that you experienced to your soul as a result of another. That's the other. That's why the law of one was known as to know one is to know the other. Otherwise, you're the other, which is a psychopath. Which means it's not experiencing what love is. You can't experience what love is and then not ever experience what love is because you either do or you don't. And if you're experiencing what love is, love automatically does no harm. So when somebody's doing another, one soul's doing harm to another soul, then that's the same thing as to hurt my own soul. Well, does that seem very intelligent to you? <laughs> okay. So this is why when I was a child growing up, these people on a suicide mission. What is the matter here? Something's wrong with this picture. This is a death world. So, so you know. That's because they fear. They live in a lie. That's right. That's exactly right. They have to convince you that you live in a lie. That you've gone mad. Because you've been traumatized so bad and been on such control of like a jackboot. The very idea that whatever the representation of what it would be to be loved by anything is so far removed from your memory. That you don't, there are, it's gone. Whatever love you once experienced, you don't experience it anymore because of what you've done to yourself as a result of doing it to others. That's why love does no harm. That's why I cry for them so much. I can't be the love that I am, that they can be, if they're not experiencing that and don't want to experience that. And instead, are using your energy Believing that by going to war in their own mirror is going to win a game against God. An eternal cosmic sun. So you know they've gone insane. They're mad. That's a psycho. Right? That's a killer without a conscience. So you see it everywhere, right? So it doesn't have any love for you. It's gaming you. Gaming you for your consciousness energy. 
So it can now can be attached to you and feed on you. Because it fell. So that's what they do. That's how this happened. That's why it's a fallen system. So that means a lot of power has got to come in here. That means a lot of folks had to do a lot of good jobs on behalf of the law of one. Being what love is. So it meant that it, it was going to go, it, it goes just the way that it's naturally going to go. It's a, it's not a random act. <laughs> a reset is not a random act. It's built in because that level of intelligence made it so that it's that way. Uh, because consciousness loves to be in a state of balance. Okay. Naturally. So going to war, war to be unnatural against what's natural, the law of what's natural, which is the flow of that energy to create a universe with, uh, you're never going to be you're never going to be able to be what that is unless you are what that is. You will always be off course, and that means radio set tuning, frequency modulation, because they're antenna wars. So you got to know how to run a radio set better than they do. A radio star, a radio star network. The original network engineers that built it. The founders. That's like we burn love in our heart uh, and, and communicate in ways that uh, most people on this planet have never experienced at least in the, in, in the lifetime to which I was mapping everything I was experiencing as I was going to heal this planet as fast and as much as I could with others that are doing the same thing, that are in on these, I call them projects. <laughs> right? So th this would like, like be a concerted effort on behalf of the law of one, the founder races, Okay. So this is founder level eternity, consciousness. Uh, this is, uh, you know, this it's like when the machine went tilt. Whoop! It tilted. You know, when a when a machine tilts, right? Something went wrong with the machine, right? So when it hits a threshold of tilt, reboot. Just like you reboot a computer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Jelly Bean. Uh, she wants to play. She loves to chew on branches. She has a good spirit. She's a girl. She's just a puppy. She's only about six months old. That's a pointer. I don't, I know them in American sportsman parlance. Uh, uh, bird dogs. You know, laboratory retrievers and all, all that kind of stuff. I spent time in Arkansas, hung out with a lot of... Um, what you might have seen on one of their old programmings, <laughs> one of their API programmings, what was it in uh, ABC Wild World of Sports with um, the American, what was it called, the American Hunter, not the American Hunter, the American Frontiersman, something like that with Kurt Gowdy. He used to do football in college and, and sometimes in the NFL. Right? Game birds. It's all coded. Just like go through Salmon, Idaho. Right there up in bold print, right on the side of that building. Owls, letting you know, the, this is owl territory. Right? And so, <laughs> it means you're learning the game board. An AI, an AI war game battlefield. So it's a matter of learning how to checkmate uh, something that's finite. <laughs>
That's not hard to do, is it? But it is necessary to go faster than what it does so that your state of awareness is far more aware of what's going on than it is. Because how a guardian is going to protect the whole enchilada, they can't do that. Right? So it really is as simple as any child can tell you because I'm, I'm that same four-year-old. I figure by now most everybody knows that he's still four years of age. I have never lost the center point of that cosmic sun that lives right directly through my heart. I can see it when I close my eyes. It's like my rear view mirror. It's a cosmic eternal sun. I'm connected to an eternal sun. An eternal, it's like, yeah, the son of God, all right. <laughs> the son of God's flower. So yeah, it's, you know, presentation. This is how I'm presenting myself. It's okay to present myself. as I'm not doing any harm to anybody. I'm in love with my universe. Right? What an artist. It used to be, it was one of the great benefits, actually, of having been in San Francisco. Um, when was this? 1967 or 68, that Summer of Love stuff at, in San Francisco at um, Golden Gate Park. <coughs> this is when all the LSD was going around and, and droppers and putting on people's tongue. Free love was going on everywhere, right? Grateful did a play there. Who else was there? I think Journey was there. Most of the old uh, folks that come out of that whole genre, Bob Dylan, uh, what's her name, Joni Baez, you know, and then and then of course you have the other side of Motown, you know, with Marvin and Vandellas. So uh, this was all a uh, psychological operation. Yeah, and. Um, so being in San Francisco, there are a lot of artists there when I was there. Very creative people, right? Musicians, artists, poets, you name it. So you could find good company, people that love art, art, and particularly in the healing arts, right? So that's why I got involved in psychedelics, if you will, and pushed so much of it, you know, um, which was mostly magic mushrooms were my favorite. And um, and the best marijuana, DH9 receptors. Turn that antenna on. Experience the plant. <laughs> now you're, wow, well, I'm experiencing being the plant. Wow, well, my energy is, well, wait a second. It's my energy that created that plant. Yeah, so I'm just experiencing a part of what I am. Yeah. Exactly. So you realize that you're the engine that made it all happen, makes it all happen. That's like life force energy, the light that you are, which is what love is. It goes on forever. Everything that's around you is experiencing what you are, which is what love is. So they all know that you're being, they're being loved. Everything is plants, everything I have my hands on. All this is experiencing our energy. See, this dog loves the energy. They love to be around your energy. That means you have an attractive magnet, a powerful magnet. Because, see, we don't need any energy from them. <laughs> yeah, I love you too. I know, see? That's how this dog knows. He picks up on my communications. <laughs> antenna to antenna. Anyway, that's just um, it's a beautiful afternoon. The, the reason I picked up my phone was when I come out here and I do breathing work, let it all out, you know, plant my feet on the ground. It's like, wow. Especially if I've been on this phone for any length of time. And uh, it's like expansion. Come on, expand it, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is true. We love... Most powerful energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take care. Look at how beautiful it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, Koa. Her name is Koa. Like on Aloha. New Aloha.